What's up guys? This is the Roverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Italian States. So to round off happened last time, we had a very scary moment where Sweden declared war on us, but we have managed to make peace with them. And we've taken and we've also managed to make peace with the Ottomans, and I've used this as an opportunity to really pull the chair out from underneath a strong enemy of ours. In, a, in a, which we can attack in a realistic way. We can survive, or well, we can, you know, we can take the Iberian Peninsula. So, without further ado, let us assault. So, I'm going to play this very, very carefully because we all know how good mortars are when attacking us, attacking a city. I am not going to take risks. I am going to. Break the city down, break the city open fairly normally. Because I've not had a good proper siege battle for a while. So I want my guns up. Maybe here. So we can break two, break open two walls. Deploy my mortars. Deploy a bunch of men in a bit of a, in this defilade back here. We've got our cavalry, and we've got our, a decent pool of infantry back here. So all of you focus on this section of the wall. These howitzers. Just focus on attacking men on the walls. I managed to kill one of our gunners with the first hit. But yep. Yeah. Let's actually also get my howitzers to take out the... Uh, take out the section of the wall. Because we have no quick line, we can't do any fancy shenanigans right now I just want to stop these guns from firing against us just blow a hole in the wall and I want to make two gaps because so hopefully I can send cavalry in through one and try get a quick strike against the how it's against the um, mortars It'd be really nice if we could do a load of damage and kill a bunch of these guys before they leave the wall. So the next volley will do it. Yes. So my foot artillery, focus on another section of wall. All my howitzers. Okay, one of you focus on this militia unit, one of you focus on this guy, one of you focus on this guy. Let's get one of you to start dropping in carcass shot. As good or not as that may be. So let's just watch. So we've got 289 militia. Carcass shot goes in. Huh, actually did work that time. Okay, let's just keep... Eh, just keep having it with carcass shot, I suppose, then. To get a chance of doing more damage. The artillery focus over here to make another entrance in the breach because we really don't want to take any risks which will mean killing a bunch of guys with carcass shot so we need to capture this as smartly as possible and with as fewer casualties as possible and obviously there's a massive question of how realistic that is. But I really can't afford to uh, waste time here. The carcass shot seems to, seems to be doing really good work. Well, when it hits, obviously. So we're likely to lose a bit of our target density because of... You know, they're going to cover two separate breaches. 
but we are making good inroads against killing that's a lot of troops like realistically in the center so is that the second wall down it is okay so let's focus over here mainly because that's where the majority of their effort is well, that's an actual unit of line infantry there although they're kind of spread out between the different breaches but this is certainly doing the job we want it to do because when we attack we need to attack everywhere at once and I'm glad this area is only partially defended I'm going to switch one to round shot start dropping some onto this unit of armed citizenry because wherever we attack we need it to be clean we need it to be able to have we need it to be able to uh, to advance in either quickly or well quickly well, quickly is the only the only real option but there is only so much I can do in terms of bombardment because I don't want to run out of time I don't want to run out of you know, leave it too short to actually make an attack. I think I might leave it till it says we've got 40 minutes left of in game time remaining, just to let the, uh, the artillery fire. Okay, let's get the guys dropping carcass shots. Instead, start focusing on the dudes on the wall. because we've actually done a lot of lots of these units in the center aren't actually that strong anymore i mean this unit of infantry is but that's because it it's positioned all the way along the front so i can't really do too much damage to it yeah we're doing good work into the armed citizenry the job there will be to charge my cavalry straight through we will not want to hold that position but I think well, that was as good a time as any so we have a couple of units of line to fight on the walls so it's a lot of mortars a lot of potential damage if they got quick line it's a huge potential huge amount of damage potential that's why I want my cavalry to sprint through this infantry just ignore them come around and engage the mortars if we can achieve that then I think we're going to be in the clear so I'm going to put it on a just a little bit of fast forward as we move up because the Akaka shot really has worked here. I'd still rather have Quicklime, because Quicklime is that much more effective. And the main trigger for me to slow this down will be when the mortars kick into action. So I've been deliberately careful. Okay, there we go. They're in. Straight through. So if I can take the mortars out, then this would be great. Especially as their infantry isn't yet responding to my attack. 
But you guys... I said you guys for the first guys to actually just attack because someone needs to hold them up. Let's change the one dropping round shot to also drop carcass shot on some of these dudes on the breach. Through, run through. Then go after their mortars. So my other cavalry unit is going to, uh, yeah, their job is to hold that. So let's work on these garrison mortars. So we've not got all of our cavalry, some of it is still stuck in the centre. So we do need to keep very tight control over them. But it's nice to feel that, you know, we've already... The okay, garrison line is starting to get in. We're going to... Okay, well, those are our guys. No, oh, some of them are gonna. Okay, stupid AI. I'll go hit them. No, don't worry about going around the flank. So that's nearly all of the mortars occupied. Send in the Union Line Infantry to hit the militia. Don't worry about me attacking your city. I don't worry about I'm not worried about attacking your city. Your infantry guards are going to be straight into the rear of those chaps. You guys are going to hit them as well. Okay, you guys stop firing at will. I just want these guys to clear out this militia before sending in all of my other troops. Dropping shrapnel shot on us. So they are responding, but if we just run around this old blob of infantry, we can then hit the last mortar unit. The garrison provincial lines looking very peaky. Last three guys, take them out. Eh, let's just charge you in, actually. Same with you. Send those guys in to charge these men to keep the breach open to allow us to funnel more troops in. Let's retreat one of my units of cavalry because there's no real need to keep them there. Especially in some of this line infantry stuck behind a wall.
But there we go, the provincial line is falling rapidly because we have flanked them and we have got all of our infantry to bear. So let's begin to position our infantry in blocking positions in case these guys attempt to uh, come back to intercept. Everyone's trying to kill the last provincial line infantry unit. He's routing. I think they're all routing now. Good stuff. Good stuff indeed. So we have lost, like, a lot of our cavalry is destroyed. A lot of our infantry is also very poorly. But Madrid is ours, critically. So obviously they hate us. So where is the Salamanca? Get rid of you. Can't afford to exempt them from tax. Got a couple of units out, out and about. Which they're probably going to raid our ships here. So let's just get them back to a safe port. Good. Can't afford to rebuild anything. That's how much does it cost to rebuild the palace? 4,800. 960 to repair that. But when we re we'll replace this with a happiness building, which should certainly help. Now we're at 8,000 quid. Ah, oh, the Brits have finally sallied a navy against us. Ooh. If I was a good navy player, I'd fight that, but I'm not, so I'm not gonna. <laughs> yeah, I would definitely not have won like that, I can tell you. Any great commander knows his strengths and weaknesses. <laughs> and a naval battle that's close is my weakness. So here come the Spanish. They're probably going to blockade me somewhere. Nope, they're going to move troops back to Spain. So this is part of the reason why I wanted to have two armies. I could have one army in the city, and then another army can go chase down those rampaging stacks. One army can take the region... The other can stabilise. And I don't like how they're bringing troops back to the Greek front. But like I said, every turn... Every turn we wait, or every turn that we're not, at, we're not in a major war is another turn towards Quicklime. Which I'm particularly keen on. Because quicklime is the sort of thing we need. Particularly, well, to, <laughs> if, you, if you've got a small army, you, you want quicklime to even the odds. And if you're fighting against a massive army, you want quicklime. And the Mughals are at war with the Brits, and that's good. Because it keeps the Brits away from me. So our morale's probably got worse. Oh no, it's only, to, only down to minus five. Which I can repair or help with those with such things as that and then let's spend a little bit of money replenishing you guys you can march north or do i march to the bridge and see if i can see if i can lure one out to the to try and attack a farmland he's got lots of raids Workers are on strike in Spain, they're going to riot next turn, but this being built. So to repair, I had an audio screw up and didn't uh, notice until far too late. Um, but here's where we're at. <laughs> I just kept pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing and eventually they, yeah, they, just, they just couldn't handle it. Our strong Catholic forces. We are the true Catholics. Could all my artillery go after those gorillas. Probably 
probably won't be seeing them again. There we go. So let's send my general to go chase after either the Grenadiers or the Marines. The Grenadiers of I mean, they're getting some annoying flanking shots from my infantry units, but it's not the end of the world. But now we're using my general to try and kill some of the Spanish troops. So what, ideally, if I can knock out both of these guys, I'd be really happy with that. So 11 marines. going to continue. I've only got one cavalry unit, so this is going to be easy to manage. Although, let's redirect my artillery fire. Okay, now everyone just hold still. Attack the engineers. That's a uh, weak unit we can kill. There are some guerrillas up to the north, but there's 57 of them and 33 militia, so we've got a better chance of actually killing this militia unit, because what I would like is to do so much damage to them that the army disappears from the campaign map. I don't know at what level that happens. But it was a decisive victory around the city of Barcelona. 200 men remaining. So if I take everyone's sans cannons, still can't take them. Okay. Spend whatever money we can on replenishment. Good. So next turn we should have a fairly happy population on our hands. But these guys are going to knock out Damien de la Bodega. Then we're going to take out this guy. He's a pretty good general. Frey Moreno. Then we're going to turn our attention south and start to look at Lisbon and Gibraltar. And we are technically supposed to get 9,000 next turn. Depending on... Oh, I didn't move my navy. <laughs> and they're going to go counter-invade Naples. Understandable. Uh, and again, similar problem. If you were a good person at fighting a navy, unlike me. I'd, you maybe might fight it, but I might actually just retreat. It might mean we die now. Yeah. <laughs> just get the hell out of there. No, oh, no, they're chasing us down. Yeah, there we go. Hey, we're still alive. Please retreat into a port. <laughs> But at least we're not at war with the Ottomans, so now those ships may be safe. I mean, we've obviously now got the threat to Naples to deal with, but it's a—it's just another stack of troops, isn't it, really? You're going to get all the way to Madrid? You are. But we will absolutely sally from that, because you're a pretty small force. Yeah, they're doing lots of uh, manoeuvring of troops. Which I'd be lying if it wasn't a bit of a concern. But at least we get good visibility of it through our diplomacy or through our trade agreements. It looks like the Swedes are going to get ready to declare war as well. Again. But that's not so bad. Gentlemen in central Italy. Let's drop you off here. Yeah. 
So we take this guy, drop him off in this port. Sail him around to two. No, 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 no. <sighs> oh, God damn it. Uh, run. Run to Naples. Because they could aspirationally push on into Rome. So you need to at least get to Rome. Rogue death. Oh, that was our admiral. So let's take you, lads. Get you back to Piraeus and then probably get this fleet back under cover as well. Yeah, do a bit of damage recovery there. Let's go fourth rate. A happy drinker. So this force up here, you will destroy Damien de Bogota. And then you will march south with all haste. Madrid is happy with us and we're earning cash, which is nice. But let's sally out against Mr. Moreno. We do have to deal with a very real probability that Sweden will declare war on us again. And then when they do, it, that will be the last time. They will not allow us to uh, they will not suffer another peace especially when such a gem as Madrid is up for sale so we've sallied but we don't care about uh, the fort deploy the guns Deploy a central position. Deploy another set of guns. Cover a flank. Cover the other flank. Drop down the howitzers. Drop down my general and my cavalry. Artillery pounding their horse artillery position. Good. Get these guns to move up. They now have one artillery piece to return fire with. Going for my general. They weren't that far off getting it. So the next bombardment comes in. Mounted Spanish bandits. they're not actually in combat with my guns. Understandably some of my howitzers are routed probably also due to the fact that I charge them. Infantry guards got charged. Yeah, these volume guards aren't going to stand.
start lobbing. Carcass shot. This is the light horse. Charging. Foot guards getting into position. Oh, a general got killed. No. He got, ki he got killed from a stray musket shot as he was heroically standing behind the line. We got left at the back. Horse artillery, regimented civilian, colonial infantry. Yeah, I can send my cavalry up to do things. Okay, all my artillery is in the goo. The Howard is going to start looking for their general. Dropping good shots into the ninth. So now we're against the Royal Cairo Infantry Guards. Run my cavalry away. Let's see if I can try to kill their artillery. Just flee. Just exit the battlefield. Artillery can still engage the 16th up on the hill. They can start firing at the 5th of Gren fifth Regiment of the Grenadier Guards. to deal with those infantry, especially now that I have no general in there to worry about. Column 16th is getting cut down. Some howitzers can all start to drop Carca shot onto this dug in Regimento de Sevilla. There you go, there's general staff are furious at the death of their general. Job the guards are dropping down stakes. Otherwise, they'd really be in trouble. Yeah, just fire into the combat. The general's unit doesn't matter anymore, it will disappear on the campaign map. Up. 
Sure, my men can reload faster than they can. Than theirs can. Mine and men are more accurate. They're just better. But I do want some men to run around the flank and hit the Regimento de Sevilla in the flank. Hit some holes in them with carcass shot. Although you guys need to redeploy to deal with these engineers. General's routing. No, no, don't worry about that. They've left cover now, so my infantry will have a great time. Come on then, you Spanish swines. <laughs> broken. Regiment de Sevilla has broken on the hill. Pivot these men to engage the engineers. As they fall back. Yep, there they go. Regimento de Sevilla. Obviously had to come back. Oh no, there he goes. Continue. Let's halt fire with all my artillery. That my one weak unit of cavalry go to town and try and kill as many Spaniards as they possibly can. At the very least it leaves fewer men for my army in northern Spain to deal with. And everyone else is going to successfully escape. But that was a wasn't clear. My armies have taken a bit of a battering, I must admit. But we've seen you off. Pick up a new general. Get you guys replenished. He's marching back as quickly as he can. Yeah the, pe yeah, the people in the town like us. The city is not besieged anymore. The general has been deployed. So I put them into ships. What I wanted to do was sell them down to Taranto, then march them up and attack Arturo Cruz. Because they... Actually, I can sprint you guys down to Rome, which is a good idea. Aspirationally. Sadly, our, sadly, our general died. So these guys will at least be able to weather the storm if they decide to hit Naples and push straight on to Rome. When this army gets into position, then I will bring them back up to Venice. So let's check our tech. Two turns to a quick lime sharp. And I suspect we are fewer than two turns away from being attacked by... Ooh, this actually might not be a bad idea to fight. Just because I get a lot of garrison line. And I can put a lot of firepower out into these guys to soften them up. So I think it's probably a good time to uh, call this episode. So my plan won't be to win in this fight. It will be to do as much damage as possible to this pretty lacklustre Spanish uh, position. So, thanks for watching guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And I'll see you next time.